guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to get flares, optical flares if you will, in Photoshop. Uh, this has kind of been commonly used and also commonly asked. Um, kind of used, as you see on my background here I've got a flare. And also even on my YouTube background I've got a flare. It's kind of coming in, kind of to the things. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of do that. Now basically, go to the link in the description and just download the flare. It will look something like this. In fact, it will be this. Flare 2, I had two of them. And um, yeah, basically I've just got this from After Effects, you know, and you just kind of print screen. If you have optical flares, you know, you can just get the custom ones. This is just a default one. And that is it. So basically just have yourself one of these. And that is the starting point. So I'm just going to go into Photoshop. I'm just going to create a kind of scene. A scene, can you really call it a scene? Uh, no, 1280 by 720 will be fine. And okay. I'm just going to make the background black. Simple black. Obviously, you'll probably have something that you'll be working on. Like, you obviously wanted to add it something. But I'm just going to kind of create something there so you can actually see how to use it in that. Uh, change the text to white. In fact, no, I won't change it. I'll change it to like a bluish. And I'll simply type Connor. Uh, go to File, Free Transform, and hold Shift and drag in the corner. Just drag it up, increase the size while at the same time kind of uh, keeping it in perspective. Play in the middle like so. And here I have a basic text. I'm just going to add some blending mode properties just by double clicking on the layer. So I'm just going to add a color overlay between uh, kind of like a that blue. I oh, hate when that happens when you click cancel. Oh, so when they just find a good color and all of a sudden you click ah, oh, it's annoying. Anyway, maybe just create kind of a bit of contrast with the blue, maybe a bit more contrast. Now this is kind of something I'm OCD. Well, not really OCD about, but I usually kind of like to have the darker color on the bottom. Just kind of something that I usually do, like so. So I just work reverse. Simple, simple as. And that's coming along. Maybe add an. Alter glow, change it to a kind of bluish, a bit darker maybe. Kind of feathers the ed edges a bit there. Maybe just increase the size a bit, not too much. And there you have it. This is the basic text coming along. So now go to File, Open, and you want to open the flare. So it's on the desktop, like so. Go to the rectangular marquee tool, simply drag and edit copy or cut rather it doesn't really matter because you're not going to use it go to paste and there you have it and let's go to free transform drag in the corner hold in shift just to keep it in perspective so it doesn't go all way woo to start with like so and as you see it's coming along now change the layers change that to screen now see this will kind of change it to Sort of, sort of like, so that it deletes the back, black background, but not fully. See, mine's lagging just a bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the razor tool. Uh, make sure we get the size right. Uh, one for one is good for this. And make sure you've got the hardness on zero. You want it to be feathered. So just kind of go around the outside, just so there's no hard edges, no hard cuts, like so. Doesn't have to be perfect, of course, because you can't really see it, but... And as you see there, it's coming along. And that is basically it. That's how to kind of add some flares. You know, do what you want with them, really. You can, you can make it smaller, in fact. Like so, add it to the end. Could I, could I add, add it to anywhere, really? Add it to the O. I'll keep it on the O, looks all right. And, uh, but one thing you could do, just say, you see I'm using a blue color scheme here. Just say on Connor, I have the color scheme on on green, luminous green with, make sure you change the outglow so it doesn't look really tacky. Uh, green again. And the flare is blue, and you don't want it blue, you want it kind of, you want it to be kind of green so it kind of, yeah, kind of merges and seems decent. Uh, all you gotta do is go on to the layer, click the adjustments, double click it, and simply go to hue and saturation, which I just need to find it here, there it is. Click it, make hold Alt and click in the gap between layer one, which is the flare and the hue and saturation, or we'll just right click and create clipping mask and just drag the saturation 
up or down as you see here right, there we go we're getting into kind of like the green realm maybe what we saw a lemony coming on and that's just how to do it make sure you move the let this layer and this changes the flare from a blue to a green now you can do this for any color of course I'll choose green in fact I could just maybe go around the outside just a little bit more maybe tone down the opacity so it's not so blur in your face no maybe not now I'll leave it at that in fact yeah cause you kinda need the white but anyway that's how to kinda get optical flares or flares in Photoshop how to use them uh, if you've got After Effects and you've got optical flares uh, just kinda go on that you use your custom ones your own ones and just kinda print screen them in uh, pretty basic but no quite a commonly asked question and that's about it from me guys thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.